Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its hypotenuse is uh, 6A uh, square plus 11, whereas uh, its two other legs are uh, 3A square minus 2, and this another leg uh, 7A square minus 3. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, right triangle and also the perimeter of this triangle uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step before we could calculate uh, the area and the perimeter of this given uh, right triangle we must find the value of uh, a square so therefore let's focus on this uh, right triangle abc and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse uh, is uh, 6a square plus 11, whereas our two other legs are uh, 3a square minus 2 and 7a square minus 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we can put uh, 3a square minus 2 whole square plus likewise uh, 7 a square minus 3 whole square is equal to our hypotenuse is uh, 6 a square plus 11 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2 a b plus b square we are going to apply this identity on these uh, two binomials on the left hand side so therefore uh, this could be written as uh, 9a uh, power 4 minus 12a uh, square plus 4 plus likewise the other one 49a uh, power 4 minus 42a uh, square plus 9 equals to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side of this uh, equation so therefore this could be written as uh, 36 uh, a power 4 plus uh, 132 a square plus 121 and now we are going to combine the like terms on the left hand side so we got uh, 58 uh, a power 4 minus uh, 54 a square plus 13 equals to 36 uh, a power 4 plus uh, 132 a square plus uh, 121 and now i am going to subtract uh, 36 uh, a power 4 132 a square and 121 and here we can see they cancel each other out likewise they are gone and they are gone as well so therefore on the left hand side once we subtract we are going to get 22 a power 4 minus 186 a square and then minus 108 uh, turns out to be equal to 0 and now I am going to divide uh, each and every term uh, by 2 to make uh, things uh, simple so therefore we can see we got uh, 11 uh, a power 4 minus uh, 93 a square minus uh, 54 equals to 0 and here we are ended up with this uh, quartic uh, equation and now we are going to make a substitution to make our job easier let's assume that uh, our uh, x uh, equals to a square then after substitution a power 4 is going to become uh, x square a square is simply x so therefore we are ended up with the 11 uh, x uh, square minus uh, 93 x uh, minus uh, 54 turns out to be equal to 0 and now we can see we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and factoring you may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this given quadratic equation 
and now let's focus on these two end numbers 11 and 54 we are going to multiply out uh, these number just disregard this negative sign so we can write uh, 11 times uh, 54 and now we can break down this uh, 54 as uh, 9 times uh, 6 and now we can see 11 times 9 is uh, 99 and here we got uh, 6 uh, over here and we can see now if we subtract uh, 99 and 6 uh, we are going to get this middle number 93 indeed so therefore we are going to tweak this uh, middle term negative 93x uh, could be written as uh, negative uh, 9x uh, plus uh, 6x uh, as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this middle term uh, by this one and now we can see between first uh, two terms uh, 11 uh, x is in common and between uh, last two terms uh, 6 is in common so therefore we can write uh, 11 x uh, as a factor so we got uh, x minus uh, 9 and here i'm going to factor out uh, 6 we got uh, x minus uh, 9 equals to 0 and here we can see x minus 9 x minus 9 is in common so therefore we got uh, x minus 9 times uh, 11 x uh, plus 6 uh, equals to 0 let's separate these two factors we got uh, x minus uh, 9 equal to 0 and the other factor is uh, 11 x uh, plus 6 uh, equal to 0 for this first equation our x value turns out to be positive 9 and for this second equation x value turns out to be negative 6 uh, divided by 11 and we know that our uh, x value must be a positive uh, number since uh, x equal to a square so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept x equal to positive 9 value so therefore our x value turns out to be 9 and we know our x uh, equal to a square so therefore our a square value turns out to be positive 9 as well since we figured out our a square value equals to 9 so i'm going to substitute a square value as 9 over here once we simplify that is going to give us uh, 25 units and likewise if we substitute a square value as 9 that is going to give us uh, 60 units and finally for this hypotenuse if we substitute uh, a square value as 9 that is going to give us uh, 65 so the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle turn out to be 25 uh, 60 and 65 uh, units respectively and here is our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, the base of this triangle uh, is this side and the height of this triangle uh, is uh, this one so therefore the area of this uh, triangle abc is going to be a half times uh, base uh, is 25 times the height uh, is uh, 60 and if we simplify everything the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be 750 square uh, units and here's our next step now we are going to calculate uh, the perimeter of this uh, triangle as well and we know the perimeter of this triangle is going to be simply the sum of all these uh, side lengths so therefore uh, the perimeter uh, of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be simply 25 plus uh, 65 plus uh, 60 if we add everything that is going to give us uh, 150 units so thus the perimeter of this uh, triangle turns out to be 150 units whereas the area of this uh, same triangle uh, turns out to be 750 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye